for my, my special day because I don't know how you're going to act. Wow. I feel so overwhelmed and so crazy. Titties are itching. My stomach is doing this. Do you think you're pregnant? Are you ready for your pregnancy test? <laughs> no, but I'm, I need to. I think you should embrace it and let it flow, literally. The golden floods. I literally can't breathe right now, knowing that I'm about to take this crazy pregnancy test. My brain's just all over the place, and I'm stressed the hell out. The way I'm feeling right now, I've had a billion children, so it feels a little in that area. So I'm gonna piss on this stick. <laughs> you can look at it. Okay. I don't wanna see it. No, I'm serious. I'm dead freaking serious. If this pregnancy test says I'm pregnant, I'm literally going to croak. Mommy's gonna pee pee on this stick. Quit hitting my boobie. I already itch. <laughs> what if I'm pregnant? Okay, so I'm gonna set it here. Oh, child, I'm shaking to death. Okay. Did it come up yet? We've got a moment to go, it looks like. It says 20 seconds only. Keeper, stop playing. Holy balls. Baby Keeper, stop playing. You are, in no. fact, preggers. Damn it. Oh, Jesus. I'm about to throw up. Okay, I'm kidding. You not pregnant. Keeper, why do you play so much? I, I, Let I, it out. I, it flow. You four. Now you know. You are not pregnant. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. If I'm not pregnant, then what the hell? But I'm going to figure out what it is. Because this, this, uh-uh. This can't happen. Hallelujah. Mm. Looks like you're still the baby for now. Yay! Every time daddy tries to touch me, you say, no, no. Mm -hmm. That's right. Me and this Angie sometimes work out together. So today, we're playing basketball. I'm about to show her. They call me Magic Johnson in grammar school for a reason. Come on, Angie. Come on. Ooh. Oh! Foul! I can't take it. She fouling me and doing all kind of stuff. Stop, girl. So I decided to referee the game as well as play the game. I'm about to say nobody. You're way taller than me. You can't just be pushing me around like I'm, that. Look, I'm okay. playing dirty. You put, okay, okay. I'm, don't this play dirty. It's about. It's don't. called defense. Don't. All you have to don't. do, don't judge me. me like this here. You should have just you know what? Me like Lena, this you're here. You're bigger than mine. I can't do that. Oh, you got that. I can stop. Stop. This sucker pulls a whistle out of her shirt. Leave it up to Angie to bring props out. What happened at the engagement? I mean, really? Vicky, you want some no, bull no, no, what, 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 what it is. Put the out of my face. I haven't done anything. I know. I know. What the It was a joke. That was crazy. I'm like, Vicky, no. We have spent so much time trying to put out fires. We ain't took care of no business. And I don't have time for that. We decided to band together as sisters. We gotta lend each other, give yeah. to each other. We need to do some stuff together. Everybody needs to utilize this platform. We need to set an example that sisterhood exists. I think that we should 
do a show. We definitely should do a We concert. should do a concert or a show or however. What we gonna do, Angie? We just gonna have to. We just Both gonna have to sign together. That's Wherever it. act up, we just gonna have to get them together and get it together and keep it moving. We gonna be all right. Let's make some music. Let's go. Get paid. no better. You got strep throat. Oh, Michael. No, you don't. Keep you that mask on. You have a sore throat. It's okay. Now you stay out of sissy's face before you end up sick, too. You just got over a fever. Mom, Emmy, you're house. sick. Put them down. Praise the Lord, son. Hey, you're gaining up on your stuff. This, this is why I don't cook no more. Right. All these 85,000 folks. Anyway, you're making my head hurt. Where's baby Keeper This is why I have to have a glass of wine pardon in uh, this house. Baby Keeper! Okay, tell him I said come now. He it? still ain't out here now. Now. Hey, uh, you cook oh, meatloaf on the stove, he's right? Exposed. Okay. Mike, meatloaf on uh, the stove. Josh. Mike, ain't you cooking the meatloaf on the stove? Who the meatloaf hell on the do stove? You who cook meatloaf? Who cooks the meatloaf on the stove? So it's dinner time. Keeper and his fiance Teddy are here. Mom is here. Josh is here. And the kids running around like some little banshees working the hell out of my brains. <laughs> Y'all wonder why Michael I'm stressed out. No, I'm stressed out. Y'all got my you're, damn you're head hurt. I'm stressed out. What stresses you out? That. Whatever. Stop, Dookie, stop. Leave her alone before you get sick again. <laughs> this is my baby. Uh, he's coming to me, though. What's your point? Uh, hello. Hey. That's that stresses me out. Because he wants me to hold him, that stresses because you out? Because you do, you spoil them. No, I don't. He's always in Keeper's arms. No, when you, you want to what? sleep tonight, come an get him. You know that, right? That's why I despise you. Where's why Bean? Is that you Where's keep Bean? Being aggressive? I don't feel like I'm the woman of my house. I feel like I'm the daughter of my house. I'm sick and tired of asking to be treated as an adult in my own house. I'm paying bills at. That's one thing that stresses me out the most. Y'all fight and argue over my kids, and they're mine. What? No, go th This is a collective effort, Kiki. Give me it a It takes break. a village to raise a child. Oh, hallelujah. And it and takes a eight? billy goat to lick your ass. What? Wait a minute. I've never heard We're of saying this. He's a billy goat licking ass. Mimi, cover your ears. Keep ear on covering your ears. Ear Watch the Mommy baby. is cussing, and it's not appropriate for you all. Cover your ears. This is why Please, I'm stressed let out. Let me tell you something. So look, well, let me tell you something. You ready? Don't leave, Kiki. Kiki, my ass. I love you, oh, and you can started. have whatever you want. That's I just hate it that our family is so whack. I hate it bad. I You're do. mean. Me you to who? Be nice. To who, Kiva? You're just mean. You're full of crap. Who am I mean You're to? You're mean to everybody. You're a jerk. The way you guys talk to me and treat me, the fact that I don't smack you upside your head and cuss you the hell out shows a lot of restraint. Okay, Sorry. I think that we show the same restraint. Mommy, you have struck the right chord with Kiever for a good cussing. I was talking about Kiki and he just came out of his butt with some crazy crap. But mommy, you do too much. That's what it is. What do you try to do? It's not right now, it's all the time. I am so no, sick of your ass. No I'm thanks. I'm sick of it. Keep on. You look like number one right now. Good. I'm glad. You just Darn came out of nowhere and attacked me for what? Because it's not just today. But why it's are you doing here. this today? This is maybe once every ten years. No, it's every holiday. Coming up. Boom, honey. Think tank. I just want this to go smoothly. I go on stage and probably on myself. What I do for y'all have taken away from my time. That's what happens when you're a parent. You don't ever stop being a parent until your child leaves this earth. You just Darn came out of nowhere and attacked me for what? Because it's not just today. But why it's are you doing here. this today? This is maybe once every 10 years. No, it's every holiday. 
why can't we just sit down and eat like normal people? It's always an issue. It's always something. Kiever, if you were put in the place that I've been in, you would understand. How dare you try to attack me? I'm not attacking you, mommy. I'm but just mom. kind of sick of your bull. What bull? You can talk your way out of everything. I don't talk need your to. way. I'm done talking. Just you just need to go. I wasn't there when everybody when y'all was little. And I need to go up. see someone. No. Hyde, She's got some deep stuff that makes her so damn negative, and I really wish she would go see somebody about it. Sometimes people, when they reach a certain point of, I can't take it no more, then they... Then it's, can't take what no more? What you do every day. Which is what? You let stuff Walk around here and clean the house. And then no, that's and not all you do. And I never no, see you. No, that is not all you do. You cuss and fuss the whole all time you're doing it. All day long. That's what you do. I'm better at this than you are. I'm sorry. It's it blood, well, and that's, that's everything's a that's game. Your relationship, out. everything's I'm a sorry. game. This has got to stop. I need either peace or get the out. Lord, what I you don't want is you don't want tonight. to uh, uh, allow the allotted space. I can't believe I fell for this tonight. I'm right. Like, I, I can't believe you did either. Miss Hines, Miss Hines, just come back. Don't. Miss Hines, just come back. Michael, stop. I'm ashamed to say I'm her mother sometimes. Smells so grown lady in here. Oh, you have a kitty. Hey, Charlie. Hello, kitty. You, you have a kitty? Dog. You have a pussy? I have a. Yes, I have a pussy. Like we all have a. Well, today is the day that we have the think tank. So the ladies are coming to my house, and I just want this to go smoothly. I figured that this would be a good idea for us to just sit and throw some ideas in the pot for us to be a part of together. Let's yeah. just keep it real. What, I, well, I can just keep it is. real. No, let's just keep it even real. Okay. <laughs> in the past, we ain't do good without ideas. Oh, okay. okay. It's this whole tour thing, I think it's phenomenal. Why are y'all not Anyone? being friends? I have a problem with her hostility. I have a piece of paper that is laid out with my ideas. This time, mm -mm, you don't get to say I did nothing. It's all on the paper. So I wrote something up for you to mark up today. Like, I want you to say, this would be cool, this would be cool. We want to first do something that shows that we know how to work together and that it'll go smoothly. So I had an idea to do a one night only concert. We can have somebody videotape it and sell it as a DVD or present it to maybe somebody for our special. Selena wrote out her ideas and like, she's serious. So, wow, I think it's great. And then, boom, we switch, honey, and get in the background. Um, singing background. I mean, that's you. Yeah, so the possibilities are endless with this. And I would love to know you guys' ideas. So think tank away. I think it's awesome. It's just a one night thing. Right. Everybody come out and have a good time. Now, if we do an acoustic set, we can rent a hall out. And I know between all of us, we can invite a hundred people. You know how us as Americans and as black folk ain't gonna sit there for no whole however long. The acoustic thing, we're talking about a snooze fest, honey. I refuse to do acoustic. Why acoustic? No. You, when you say acoustic, I'm not talking about just a guitar. But you I'm talking about acoustic. Acoustic is amplified. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because you know that because you know Negroes, honey, they got they you know they be sitting there like this. Now I like Angie's idea of the unplugged idea. Now, that makes more sense. I'm excited. I just think it needed to come back to the music, and we need to do something, you know, with musicality, expressing all of our vocal ability and just singing our toenails off. It's just time yeah, for that. I'm, I'm so, I want to keep my toenails. Thank you. I think it's a wonderful idea, and I love it. Kiki, she's trying to be a team player. I think when we talked, I got it across at my engagement party. We're adults. That is not behavior that we should be doing to each other. And um, she came around. And it's going to be fun because I like all of y'all and I love all of well, I'm, I don't. I ain't going to say I love y'all yet because I, right. I don't know you well, enough don't know to me. love That's you. Okay. <laughs>
<laughs> Y'all know how I feel. Y'all know my little whatever. As I go outside on stage and probably on myself. If I'm not feeling confident about how my performance is going to be, then I'm not going to be able to do it. Coming up. You don't build me up like you do other people. So, but you're here with me. Finally, after how many years? How do you feel about... About the concert? I can't even believe I committed to it. I just can't. Shoot the I got some vegetarian stuff for you over here. So all right, try all right. And get, you got some grass. Yeah, other grass, yeah, other little seaweed, little dirt. Save <laughs> my life, honey. Yeah, it's meatless. Isn't it yummy? Uh huh, it's real good. <laughs> oh, this good, Ma. Uh huh. You know what? It's real tasty. <laughs> Barbecue rubber bands. All right. Y'all know how I feel. Y'all know my little whatever. As I go outside on stage and probably f***ing on myself. I got a scooper. Okay. I, 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 I got, got you, Keep a scooper, some boo, -boo. Okay, okay. I, I got you. Is there some level of insecurity with you singing solo by yourself? I was never a lead singer. It's just that right now, I'm at okay. the point where I am trying to start my voice lessons again. I haven't used my muscle in so long that it's, it's intimidating to me. I'm feeling reluctant because I'm not where I used to be. I don't know where I want to be in music. I don't want you to feel like you are incapable because you're a diva now, baby. My concern is Latavia is a little bit more than afraid. I'm trying to make some power moves it is about us rebranding ourselves, getting back out there as singers. You know what I mean? We support you in that. You understand? I appreciate okay. that. Boy, I hope this goes right. If we go ahead on and do this thing here, and I promise you, the flock, say that with me, the flock will follow, okay? Me and my girl Latavia, we're the cutest. Ew. So we love to go shopping together and catch up and, you know, shoot. How do you feel about. About the concert? Yeah. I do think it's a really good idea. They get an A for effort. But. <laughs> when people say that, that's usually a but. If there is a but, it's that. I, I would say, but I really hope that we can pull it off. I still have my reservations about the show because I feel like I don't fit in with the rest of the divas. I feel like I'm not going to fit in. I don't feel like I was lying or putting on a front to the women when I say that I'm down for it and I want to do it, but mm -hmm. it's preparation. Right. And like I said, if this happens too quick and I don't feel like I'm on my game, then I just can't. It only makes me feel a little more cuckoo because I have a lot more preparing to do than other ladies. It's been a very, very, very long time since I've been anywhere, like, in public. I've been so fearful. I can't even believe I committed to it. Right. You ready to work? Yep, always. All right, go ahead. Enjoy going there and knock it out the park. My baby, Diamond, she has a song that she's been working on that she wrote called Smoke and Ride. So I want to be on the ground running with this one because I really think it, she has the potential to be great. Smoking Ride to me is a, is a bona fide smash. I think it's a great song. However, 
I'm a little concerned because of the concept smoking ride. I didn't bring her up that way. But nigga, you f***ed up my whole day. And uh -uh. now I'm going to Stop, 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 stop it, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Really, Diamond? What? I thought we talked about this. All that cursing, is it really necessary? What radio station gonna play all that cursing? Everybody curses. No, you know, I mean, I don't do the same kind of music you do. Okay, what that mean? What kind of music do I do? I'm in a whole nother era, and you just ain't caught up with it yet. Oh, really? Can y'all excuse me for one minute, please? Really? Here we go. Well, my daughter has a tendency to speak her mind. She becomes defensive, and she gets a little loose at the mouth, and she know I don't do that well with her. Really? How you gonna just embarrass me like that? Come out like, my music is for my generation, yours is for your generation. What does that mean? If you listen to all the hit songs that's coming out right now, they're cursing. We gotta do better. You represent me. You don't build me up like you do other people. What other people? Anybody. The divas. Okay. And, and guess I what? Feel you're, left but out. You, but so, you're here with me. Finally, after how many years? What I do for y'all have taken away from my time, and as a result... But as you... a parent, that's what happens when you're a parent. You don't ever stop being a parent until your child leaves this earth. Coming up, do you want to sing? Is that even a thought? Well, who is this oh, diva? Oh, that's my baby. Oh, wow. This is not the divas in training group. For you and your children, you can't see and tell me I don't. Here I am in the ninth hour trying to make sure you get it right here with me and you're still not satisfied. That is unfair because you're not looking at what I have been through. This has been very hard for me. And trying to please you, Michael, Mama having a bury daddy, and your whole family has been hard on me because y'all want what you want when you want it. It's not fair. I was a young mom, and as a result, I, you know, toured. My parents helped me raise Diamond, and she's still angry. So everything that I do, she feel like I owe her. I don't know what you expect from me. What do you expect? I expect to be treated like your daughter. You don't treat me like your daughter. Anymore. I treat you. You ignore me. No, I don't. Don't say that. You do. Why do you feel that way? You have always ignored me. That is not true, Diamond. I have not been ignoring you. And if I have, I have not meant to. Don't do that. Don't do that. Please. I want my daughter to forgive the years that I was not there. I want Diamond to understand that it was my job. It was the very job that I walked away from high school and everything else so that, you know, my family could have the life that they have now. I love you. You gotta forgive me. some of these printouts uh so i'm at the studio i'm at the brand factory which is my home away from home while i'm here in atlanta we just want to know what type of emotional feel that you want the photos to have you know basically i invincibility invincibility just okay. you know kind of pushing through everything okay, okay. and in the end just kind of coming out on the bright side of things um regardless of the rain and all that stuff. I like that one. So we're looking over some photos and some designs of packaging for the new project. Now, in terms of the video, we definitely want to see the <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Latavia comes in. Oh, so, like really surprised. It's cool she came by. Nice meeting you. You as well. Y'all take care. You All right. Thank you. Right. See you guys. Bye. Bye. I'm totally interested how Monifa is going to feel about the ways that I feel about the music industry right now. Um, I wanted to come and talk to you about my fears and you saying that you had those same fears. So when you were talking the other day, uh -huh. especially about the career piece and being fearful and stuff like that, and I just, I felt you, I felt, I felt you like, I felt you. you yeah. Know? I know what that feels like. I, I completely understand where you are. I have to bring up to Monifa now that we're alone that I still have my reservations about the show. Like after everything happened with Destiny's Child, I turned to substance, you know, to try to try to cope and to try to numb. So I mean, I would, I would have to wake up and have a drink, you know, just like. And this is like in my early twenties. Wow. My self-esteem just started shrinking and then the, the more you don't sing the more uncomfortable you feel with it like I've never been a lead singer I've never been this so that's where my fear is mm. but Tavia shares with me her fears of singing and not feeling super confident in her voice or even feeling passionate about it anymore I, I totally can relate to that some people just do go through a you know come to a crossroads I want to be passionate about what I do you have to be us or else it's because I want to work gonna, I right. want to go to work every day and I right. want to love to go to work that's you know right. so that's like where I am like mentally and mm -hmm. just trying to feel my way back to exactly where I need to be like I know that I can sing but I'm not comfortable like I, I'm, I'm just not comfortable mm. so I just want to like I just want to be clear like I'm you know just I guess the question is do you want to sing do you is that even a thought for you do you want to sing is music still like one of your passions or? I don't want to do it Up, you need to go see somebody that you can tell yeah, all, all your, your business. business to. Shrink. Y'all been going through this back and forth roller coaster for years now. When is it going to stop? That's my question. When are you going to let it stop? I know that I can sing, but I'm not comfortable. Like, I, I'm, I'm just not comfortable. Mm. So I just want to like, I just want to be clear, like I'm, you know, just I guess the question is, do you want to sing? Do you, is that even a thought for you? I don't want to do it. I remember when I just fell out of love with my gift and I really, I really can relate and understand where she is. But I also know that when you do love to do something and, or you can do it, that you can fall in love with it again. All I, I can tell you is really about making sure you're okay with you. And it starts there. Once you strengthen that connection with your higher power, God, and or whatever you call him or her or it, that's what that's the connection that needs to be made because then it it allows you to deal with everything else. Moniva is encouraging me not to give up on singing. I'm not frustrated with her, but I get it so much that it's just like, gosh, I just want to do me. The only thing we, we can change or in, in control of is ourselves and how we view ourselves in the world and our perspective. So how are you since our last encounter? I mean, I'm okay. I love you. You know I love you. Last time we were in the room together, Mommy, you and Baby Keeper were about to, like, smash each other's domes in. You just Dumb. came out of nowhere and attacked me for what? It's not just today. This is maybe once every 10 years. No, it's every you... holiday. Hopefully this will go great and not a Smashbox session again. Can't deal with it. I just feel really bad that it got so out of control that night because I don't think you've ever talked to me like that before. I was fed up. I am no sick of your That's no thing. I'm sick of it. Keep on. You look like the number one right now. Good. I'm glad. I'm getting to a point where moving ahead is a must because every time you get upset, you go back to the same story. I can't stand all the yelling in front of my kids and screaming. I think that many times I lash out at the people I love the most because 
something, anything could be wrong. And in my mind's eye, I'm saying they have to understand where, where this is coming from. Even though I'm directing it at them, they have to understand it may not necessarily have anything to do with them. But then it starts feeling like you're lashing out to try to hurt our feelings exactly. when you Only say that. Only after mine have been hurt. So you need to go see somebody that you can tell yeah, all, all your, your business. business to. Hopefully we can talk her into seeing somebody for real because I had already mentioned it to her and she ain't been yet. Maybe this time it will, you know, sink in, girl. That's this is not the my time. That's right. This is the time because we're adults. And we can do something. Now that we're all adults, we all should just be each other's support system. I said, and we yeah. can even do something as a group. Yeah, as a family. You know, something. Just get some off our chest. Sometimes it just takes that. Mom, we're taking you to a shrink girl, a therapist. Someone that can help heal your brain and your emotions. And hopefully you'll want to change. Just a little will make a big difference in my house. Honestly, no mother desires to alienate her children to the point where they got attacked. I mean, who wants that? You know, I took Diamond in the studio just in an effort to let her know that I got her back no matter what. Her passion is the same. I just feel like no matter what I do, I'm never going to please her completely. I decide to talk to Ashanti. He's been in my life for eight years now, and he's seen, you know, the ups and downs, the unraveling of what happens with Diamond and I. I know he's going to give me sound advice. She still putting me on punishment for, you know, having a career while she was a baby. That bitterness, that buildup has really caused her life to go in a direction that I personally wouldn't, wouldn't want my daughter to go in. Well, my, my question to you is, how long are you going to blame yourself for her mistakes? I mean, Domin is a grown woman. Whatever you didn't do or whatever you did do up until now, it's not going to matter. Because she has, she's set in her own ways anyway. And I'm not blaming myself, she's blaming me. Obviously you're blaming yourself if you, you if it's affecting you in, in a way that it is. It's you, hurting me as a mom. Because you're hurting. blaming yourself. You can't go back and raise her again. Or in that case, not raise her again. Whatever's done then is already done. You can't go back and change it. All you gotta do is move forward to the next level. You talk it out, say what you have to say, Diamond. At the same time, still love her, who she is, your daughter, but let her live her own life. What he's saying, I hear it and it makes sense, but my heart won't let me just let that part just go. I can't do it. That bond that mother-daughter supposed to have, we don't have it because the communication broke down. It could be fixed. Because I see y'all have y'all ups, and then y'all have y'all lows. But if it wasn't repairable, y'all never had no ups. So it is repairable. Y'all both gonna have to work hard to repair it. It's not been an easy road. No relationship is. We got scar tissue. We need to heal. Because she's my daughter. And at the end of the day, I have a responsibility to fix that. Y'all been going through this back and forth roller coaster for years now. For years. I mean, when is it going to stop? That's my question. Okay, well, the question to you to ask yourself is, when are you going to let it stop? defy me because you feel like you're grown. I don't care how grown you get. We got to go to blows. You know we going. The idea about us singing background for one another, I got to be all the way honest because I wasn't before. I, I don't really feel comfortable with that. Coffee is going on and on and on. I said to you, go to the doctor. What you say? No, no, no. But the truth of the matter is, I'm a mom. I see stuff. I see a lot of stuff. And I just think it's high time that you trust me. It puts me in a very intense spot to not get along with my daughter. Do something you've never, ever done before. And that's just give me the benefit of the doubt. 
I do give you the benefit of doubt. Not where it counts. I'm in the studio with you. To me, you're a diva in training. You got me as your mom. You're born to do this. This is something that is in your DNA. I'm probably the one person that sacrificed just about anything to see you make it. I want to be there to egg her on because she really thinks that I have not put 100% into her career. I'm just a very straightforward person, and I don't mean for it to come off as harsh, and you just, yeah, I'm you blunt. Are, I don't mean you to be. You're harsh, you harsh, <laughs> you, you raw, you dirty raw with it, and you defy me because you feel like you're grown. And guess what? We got to go to blows. You know we going, because I'm the mama, and you're the daughter. I don't care how grown you get. You know, I'm only telling you this stuff as a mother because I love you. Diamond, I don't want to put a muzzle on your creativity. But at the same time, I want you to say, you know what? Mom, you have survived because obviously you know something. Come give me a hug. Uh, I love you. I love you too. How much? Too How much. much. Uh... This is the first rehearsal with the ladies for this one-night-only extravaganza show. We need to really map out what's going to happen and actually walk it out. We need to figure out the design of it, the right. logistics, all that kind of stuff. That has been yeah. on my mind because I've been trying to figure out how are the sets going to go. I think that we should do what we would we like to do. do. Exactly. It's, yeah. it's, it's, so it's it don't no have rules. to be from like, where we came have... from. Whatever make you feel good, what kind of yeah, songs make you exactly. feel good. The idea about us singing background for one another, I got to be all the way honest because I wasn't before. And then, boom, we switch, honey, and get in the background and sing for Hello. each other. That's cute. Yeah. That's cute. I, I don't really feel comfortable with that. Really? Well, but I'm going to break down why. Okay. So it was a time in my life when I, you know, I had to figure out whether I was coming or going, honey. So the opportunity for background singing came about, and I had to pay my bills, and that's what I ended up doing. Oh. Uh... And it started out as just like for a second, but honey, three years went by, and I was still doing it, you know? Girl, you say and no more. that it was a dark, depressing mm -hmm. place for me. That ain't some <laughs> that I'm really trying to go back to. Like, I know it would be for one night only. But I'm just like, mm, I'll pass. I have two thoughts. One thought is, you know what? You can do what you want to do. There are no rules and you do what the hell you want to do. And no one's going to kill you and like we still want you to be a part of everything because we love you and we want you to have a good time. And we want you to be happy at the end of the day. However, first you have to ask yourself, do I really give a what people think about me? Like that's first. This is true. Um, and then you have to say, Coming into a solo realm, do I really give a <laughs> what people think about me? Because if we care so much about what people think about us, we will fail. No, this is true. Can I get a witness as a solo? But I'm going to tell you, singing background means you have a skill. Singing background is super it's hard. It's not a game. It's, it's not, not a game. I love that. It is so And it trains it. your exactly. ear. And let me tell you, that gift you got in your throat, mm -hmm. when I tell you that oh, gift in your sweet. throat you. is a beast, so, well, who is this diva? Oh, that's my house. baby. Hey, 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 Angie. Angie. She just walked in. And I was just like, hi. Hey, I'm going to move. You know, I'm thinking, somebody interrupting our session. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Diamond. She's in the studio working on her stuff finally. Yay. And she wanted an up close and personal relationship with these women because she admires them as well as desires to be a singer. I wanted the divas to know that I have a daughter that run the ranks right with you guys. She drove all the way from South Carolina just to hang out and say hi. Well, howdy do, she. Okay. <laughs> I absolutely think it's awkward and I don't understand why she's here. I mean, I get it, you know, that's your daughter, but it was like awkward timing. We were discussing business. So you just came to hang out or you got some ideas you gonna throw around like your mama? Because I tell you, your mama got 5,000 ideas. Um, I'm just hanging out, you know. I'm oh, just chilling with just her. Just chilling for okay. a few hours. This is not the Divas in Training group, okay? Now it's really time to focus and start making some real things happen. What about the business part of it? Because I'm gonna have to 
talk about stuff with my management. Uh, and... boo -boo. Do we look alike, Jim? Sitting here in rehearsal, doing nothing yet again. So I'm like, F it. Time to go home. Bye bye. Next on R&B Divas. Cordless mics in the building. This is it. That's all they got. It's whack. I'm not knowing really what to expect. I don't know how the crowd is going to receive me. My divas are here. Hopefully this won't be a damn train wreck. When I was younger, I was molested. I just felt unprotected at that time. I have affectionately named today Sucky Fat Out Day. Deep breath for me. The medicine's going in. It's okay. Uh, 